My friends, hello! Welcome back for some more Oxygen Not Included uh, DLC content, I suppose. Uh, this video is going to be covering some new stuff that they just released, which is going to be available on the public testing branch. Um, just going to be talking about uh, the changes that they made, and we're just going to try some stuff out here since I'm on that branch and will be on that branch for any future DLC videos. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what they changed. Um, most of the stuff that they change is going to be about rockets and about oxygen masks, from what I understand. There's full patch notes out there if you want to take a look at it. Um, I'll just drop a link down in the uh, description if you want to check it out, or you can just just look at it through Steam as well. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be mostly about oxygen masks and rockets. So let's get the oxygen masks out of the way first and kind of figure out how that works. As far as I understand, they made it function just like the regular suits. So there's a new crafting table uh, here. So let's go ahead and make one of those and see what this does. Looks like we can just make oxygen masks out of different things. Worn oxygen masks, that's weird. These all look kind of the same. Um, as far as I understand, there's also like a, a, du a durability meter or like a health meter for masks and suits and stuff like that too. But it looks like we can make it out of different stuff. This is especially a lot better than the metal that they had before. The metal is really annoying. Um, but yeah, let's just hook up some, some cheater stuff, and I'll spawn some duplicates over here, we'll kill our original ones. Just so we have more, uh, freedom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn. Mima, you're gonna be our homie today, welcome. And we'll go ahead and delete the other ones, since we don't really need them. Oh, whatever. Alright, so we've got this up. Mima needs some oxygen, so let's go ahead and provide her some of that. Preferably the gas variety. Oh, they also changed these sliders. You can actually make this go a lot higher now. That's interesting. All right, so Mima's here. Let's go ahead and ask her to produce some masks. I don't know, maybe produce four or five, I guess. So she'll get busy on that while we do some other stuff related to this. They have new stations that are set up that are basically functioning, as far as I can tell, just like the uh, other suits. So let's go ahead and drop an oxygen mask checkpoint. Let's drop a couple of these docks and see what we got here. So it looks like they have a gas intake as, intake as well, which is uh, to be expected. That's what was done with any of the uh, other suits. So let's just mine out an area here. I'll just make this our, like, area to vacuum out oxygen and kind of put it into the, the suit. So more oxygen. I'm just going to put a lot in here, 100 kilograms, whatever. And then we'll drop a gas pump, some pipes. And there we go. And it looks like we're going to need... Oh, they don't take power, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Huh. All right. Drop some more dev generators. Do our nice handy-dandy cheating stuff. Go ahead and spawn some of that. I guess we need to probably have Mima bring us the masks. So let's go ahead and deliver those. And yep, there we go. And we'll just have Mima grab one of these and kind of run around with it. Um, I definitely want to prioritize these higher than what she's doing right now, so let's just get one at least. There she goes, nice and slow, because it's a beginner dupe. Oh, and she delivers it to the one that I didn't ask for at the highest priority. Whatever. Alright. So yeah, as far as I know, they work the exact same way. Um, let me clear all the stuff that's on the ground here and see if there's like a meter to tell you how much it's filled up. And I don't see it, so it looks like uh, it's a little hidden. Also, where did that other mask go? This, uh, worn oxygen mask is interesting. That's a pretty cool animation. Alright, Mima, are you getting us all the stuff that we need? What happened to this other mask? I swear I made way more than that. And I don't know why she just took one and then moved it to somewhere else. That was kind of weird. What is she doing? She just, like, takes one from one place and moves it somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Do I only have so many? Like, let's see if we can see this as a resource. Mask. Yep, there's five of them. I don't know why she's moving from one to the other. That's probably a bug. Oh, here's the meter to show how filled up it is. Okay, cool. All right, Mima, get out here. Let's have you do something out here. Just gonna put it on just like the other one, run around a little bit. Apparently this will have some kind of health bar on it, so... Oh, she also has way more oxygen. This is a lot better than the older ones. I like that a lot. Alright, run over there. Let's go to you to super speed, since you are really slow. Woo! 
Looks like they're also expelling carbon dioxide as they breathe, so that's a little bit annoying, especially for those airtight rooms. I think that's how it was working before. Wait, is she asleep out here? <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's make Mima an outhouse, just so she has somewhere to uh, do her business. Let's also spawn some food. Just because I always feel bad about letting the colony die when I'm doing stuff like this. All right, food. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just spawn some stuff that will never go bad. So, uh, what are these called? What are they called? I don't know what they're called. All right, whatever. I'm just going to spawn whatever. There's a, a it's berry sludge. Berry sludge. That's what it's called. I am so bad with names, you guys. There we go. As far as I understand, these never will rot. So, that's pretty cool. That's been this, the case since the base game also. All right, enough messing around with the oxygen mass. I think we have an idea of what happens with this. Grabbing some dirt so you can run back over to the bathroom and potentially use it at some point. It looks like the capacity on this is roughly a half day or so once they're filled up all the way, so that's kind of cool. And I'll just come back over here, dropping off the mask. Oh, okay, there we go. There's a durability on it now. It's at 94%, and I think that's on all of the other types of suits as well. So, yeah, that's definitely a new thing. But the biggest part of this update, and uh, the thing that I'm most interested in, why I have a bajillion rocket platforms, is because uh, this is going to be a big update for rockets. And I was just talking about this the other day, so this will actually solve some of the problems that I was dealing with, of basically not knowing uh, exactly what to do about the different type of rockets that are available, because it seemed like the sugar one was pretty useless. Also, the engine power does still seem lower on the sugar engine, so I guess that's still not as good. Let's just start building some stuff here. So let's build a sugar engine. Um, we can also add on some different oxalite containers, but I don't know if that's going to change how much can actually go in here. So this is 450 now, a little bit more than it was before. Let's brush in some uh, sucrose and see what kind of distance we get on this, because as it was now, whoa. This looks really different than where it normally spawns. Isn't this also sucre? Oh, this is sulfur. Okay. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. It exists that way. All right, there we go. So now that we have this being asked for, let's add on some other modules and see how what kind of distance we can get. This was the small oxidizer tank that was there before, and I think it was not intended to carry as much as it could before. Um, and I don't see anything else that's really obvious about... Uh, Get this getting this specific engine any further as you might note there's also steam small petroleum and regular petroleum engines here now i'm curious what kind of distance they'll have what is going on uh i don't know what just happened but okay <laughs> Mima is just making a huge mess just by existing but you know whatever all right so let's add some of these uh smaller ones and then i'll add another one that's a little bit bigger build and how many modules can this handle Five. Again, it's very confusing because with five before, this couldn't even push it. Um, and as I've kind of figured, let's see if they change anything about the cargo bays because they have smaller and larger cargo bays. And it was to the point that I didn't really see a, a reason. Whoa, these are huge. Does this actually fit a ladder on the side? Oh, it does. Okay. Interesting. It takes up the same amount of space, but it's just big. All right. Okay, so then once we have this, let's put like a, a regular like solo spacefarer nose cone on here. What kind of capacity does this have? Because I've always found that these were not nearly as useful as just like building pieces in here to haul stuff. You have to haul it manually, but even still, all you have to do when this once they get back is deconstruct the rocket and it all falls out of there. So is this any different? Uh, does it say what the capacity is? I don't see, but I remember this being a lot less with the smaller one. Huh. Oh, here we go. 1,200. This one just doesn't say. Huh. Alright, interesting. Guess we'll figure that out later, but yeah, sucrose engine. Let's fill this up with uh, some oxidizer. I don't know if we've ever discovered any of the materials that it's going to take, so I'm just going to brush in both types as far as I remember. So fertilizer. Let's brush some of this in. And these look really different than what I remember. And oxalate. Yeah, even that looks a little bit different. Huh. All right. All right, what do you accept? You accept both. All right, let's fill this with fertilizer. 
This is also not as much as this engine now holds. It's 450 and then the oxidizer is 300 kilograms. So I don't know if it matters and if it needs to be set up the exact same way as it was in the past, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Man, what happened with this? I bet there was some ice that melted inside there. That's probably what was going on. Yeah, you can see it freezing and melting here. So let's go ahead and clear the floor. There we go. Uh, Nima, did you fill this up? Like, what's going on? No, what? Why? Why are you not taking this? Where are you? What are you doing? Okay, well, I don't know why she's not bringing that in, and that's gonna be... Oh, she might just be on break or something like that. Right? No, I don't... I don't know what's going on. All right, whatever, let's move on. All right, uh... She'll hopefully fill that up at some point. Can she get over here? Is that what the problem is? Mop. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Let's just tell her to come over here and see what she does. Can I not reach this? Is that what's happening? No, I should... It says unreachable, so... Do I need to actually build ladders that are closer to this now? Which is kind of annoying, because... Yeah. Huh. Because you could just load it from this far away before, but I guess they changed that, which will be a little bit weird, because... These bigger modules, you'll have to, like, rebuild and unbuild your ladders. I think that was kind of a step back, honestly. I don't know. I thought this was pretty smooth of just having one ladder on the side. I also just wish that they would come in here automatically. I think that's a little bit of nuance that we don't really need to care about. All right, so the range is still zero on this, so let's delete a couple of modules. Get this out of here. There we go. So what kind of range do we have now? Still zero. What is going on? These are worse, right? Am I missing something? Yeah, sugar engines look like they're just worse. All right, let's load it with oxalite and see if that makes any difference. Oh, now it's time to go on break. Jeez. All right, let's start building some other stuff. All right, this was the standard before. Before it was just the small carbon dioxide engine. This can still only handle three modules because uh, apparently that's just how they tuned it. So I'm going to add what was here before and see if this distance is any different. I also need to set up some stuff to pump in some carbon dioxide, so... Let's do some of this. Let's make sure it doesn't freeze. There we go. And then I'll just drop in... Oh, I need to clear the floor, because that'll make it freeze, too. I'll just drop in a whole bunch of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide gas. I guess we'll just do the same amount as before. There we go. Copy this. Copy this, add in some wires, and then something to actually fuel it. There we go. So this is what it was before. Um, the distance on this when it was set up exactly like this uh, in before this actually came out was a range of four. So let's see what happens when we actually fill that up. Let's speed up time here real quick. There we go, super speed. Will Mima get up here and help us? That's the million dollar question. All right, she's loading it up with oxalite. Let's see what we get from this oxalite. And this keeps giving me warnings of her being trapped. It's like, trapped from what? I think she's fine. All right, so 300 kilograms of oxalite. It looks like oxalite is a little bit stronger. So unless this was just not updated correctly with the fertilizer, let's double check that and reload it with fertilizer. Because I've noticed that sometimes if you're on one of these modules, or in one of these UIs, and you click away, um, it will re-update. So it looks like this carbon dioxide engine, dioxide engine is almost full. Is this holding less than it was before? I feel like it is, because I feel like it used to hold 200 kilograms, but I could be wrong. Um, this seems like it's less, but the range... The range is still 4, so this seems about exactly the same as it was before. Let's just experiment and see if any adding any uh, oxidizer actually helps this. Just so you can get a little bit more distance on this. Yeah, this needs to move. All right, so let's go ahead and add another small oxidizer tank and see if any of that's any different. Then we'll add a solo spacefarer nose cone. This would probably be useful if you needed to do like one-way missions or whatever to like further asteroids. Uh, so yeah, let's let's add fertilizer to here also. All right, so we got the fertilizer back in, and yeah, it's back to zero. So fertilizer is weaker, which is something that I talked about in my video recently, which does make a lot of sense. So it looks like oxalite is the better oxidizer, of course. Let's see what happens with the uh, bigger module, though. 
Let's add the big one with one of the sugar engines just to see if this is worthwhile at all. Uh, wait, did I just add a liquid fuel tank? I did. I pressed the wrong button. This is going to be for petroleum later, so... Right? I did Hmm. Let's try something silly. Uh, just to see what happens. Alright, ready for this? Let's go ahead and... Do something like this. Let's get some sucrose. What is your melting point? 366. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make a pump out of steel. And we are going to try to load this with some liquid sucrose and see what happens. This is probably like the dumbest rocket setup ever, but you know what? It's time to find out. I also wonder if the sugar engine has to be oxidized. It could be one of those like uh, petroleum in the base game where you have to oxidize it before you get any use out of it. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens. So what can this hold? Um, doesn't tell me, so I guess we'll just start pumping it in. But yeah, we want to pump in sucrose that is liquid. Sucrose. Liquid. And 440, that should be plenty. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, it looks like... It looks like caramel. I guess that makes sense. Isn't that basically what caramel is? Oh, did I make this out of steel? Yes. Okay. Alright. And then let's head this into here and see what happens. So right now we are at zero range. And I'm just going to start pumping it in and see what happens. So, does this actually take it? Oh, no. That would have been so cool. I, I would actually really like to feed my rocket engines caramel in order to give them some fuel. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad that doesn't work. Aw. And it's freezing and turning back into solids. Boo. All right. Fine. I had my fun. I tried. We'll keep this around for, for later. Um, I guess I could just deconstruct these. So I have everything on the cheater mode. All right, anyway, let's get rid of this and let's build the other oxidizer that we were thinking about. And I wonder if it still has the property of like one-to-one -one oxidation, because that's what it was in the base game. This looks so funny. It's like huge by comparison. All right, anyway, so let's load this with fertilizer first. And just because this is my instinct, I'm going to set it to the exact amount as the sugar engine. So there we go. Let's have this asking for fertilizer. Oh, all my carbon dioxide is freezing in these pipes. Um, it's because this air out here is too cold. And it's because this wall is too cold. Let's go ahead and reset this up so we don't have this problem anymore. There we go. There we go. Sample this. Give me more. And fill. Fill. There we go. There. All right. Hurry up and load this. Everybody is tired of waiting for you. I can't set a priority on loading this? That's pretty weird. Right? I'm not missing something, am I? Look at all these new resources here. Uh, can I clear these? I don't know how to clear those. All right. We're loading up some fertilizer. Let's give Mima some better skills, by the way. Uh, just so you're better at carrying stuff. There we go. Also, the janitor ones. There we go. Yeah! Alright, so we're loading up to 450. And now the range is 1. So, okay, that helped a little bit. What are you doing? So, we've got 1. Let's load this back up with Oxalite and see what happens. Which, I'm just going to spawn a whole bunch of it. Um, is that enough? Maybe. Maybe. I'll just spawn a whole bunch more. So, like, let's just do this. Oxylite. Solid. Mass. We want it to be an insane amount. There we go. And... Sure. Whatever. Dig it out. There. Now we have a lot. Alright, Mima. I'm tired of you going on break. I need to create another duplicate that is available at other times. So, duplicate. And schedule. Add new schedule. You don't get breaks. We are not about that here. Your bedtime is right in the middle of the day because whatever. Nails, you are going on our second schedule. There we go. They're both named default schedule. How's that for planning? Wait, wake up. Why are you asleep? You're not supposed to be sleeping right now. Get up. All right. Oh, we should also give Nails the carrying as well. Man, these are really long names messing up their UI. All right. 
Get up there and do what you were born to do. Why are you still sleeping? Did I mess this up? Okay, I did mess this up. You're still sleeping because I told you to keep sleeping. Silly me. All right. We at least have some redundancy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is bad. There we go. I'll just do the... I'm doing this like the super lazy fast way because, you know, why Why do anything the right way when you can do it the fast lazy way? Am I right? Alright, so what's our range now? It's now three. Which, we have like a good amount of oxalite. Let's just add a ridiculous amount and see if that changes anything. Um, we have... Th these sugar engines are still worse baseline than the carbon dioxide engines. I just don't know why you would ever use this. And I guess if I could pump caramel into my rocket and fuel it that way, that would be awesome. But I just apparently can't do that, so that's kind of a bummer. Why will they not bring me anything? I, I told them to change this. There we go. There, bring me oxalite now. There's definitely a bug with how they request this, at least as far as I can tell. Because I have a lot of oxalite, and I just changed the values, and they just kind of won't do anything about it. Alright, so we have 900 and whatever in there right now, 980, and it's still only 3, so I'm guessing that 1 to 1 oxidation ratio is still true. Uh, so yeah, sugar engines still feel totally useless. Alright, so we have 4 range on the carbon dioxide. Let's start adding oxidizer into this, which they're apparently not bringing me fertilizer for some reason. I don't know why. I asked them to... Oh, pff, there's no ladder. What am I smoking? Uh, let's see. Let me just destroy some of these other ones. This is, like, so overkill to do this many, but you know what? That's just what we do around here. We overkill stuff. All right, Mima, hurry up. Okay, did this change anything? No. So let's add the 450. Oh, that's even more than what's in here. So yeah, this seems useless again to add any sort of oxidation on top of a carbon dioxide engine, as far as I can tell. Let's just be safe about this and make sure we know what we're talking about. So I'm going to add the big one, just in case. Uh, build that. <laughs> this looks so silly. This is huge by comparison. All right, and then we'll add some fertile... Oh, let's add some oxalite because we know that's better. At least as far as we've been able to tell. Uh, you guys bringing this or what's going on? What? What's happening? Why are you not loading this? Uh... Okay. Definitely some bugs going on here. Did I just mess that up and did I make another large fuel tank? Is that what happened? I don't know. I'll go back and watch this later and then just be like, Oh, you're so dumb. No, that couldn't have been because I was selecting oxalite. They're still not loading this. Why? What's happening? Why why is this so buggy? Alright, we'll just deconstruct some of this stuff. I guess I'll just build it on the same platform? What? Unreachable storage? Where are they supposed to be? Do I really have to build it down there to get them to load it? That is super weird. I do not like that. Yeah, what? Huh. Yeah, not a fan of that. All right, let's see how much that changed. Nope, it's exactly the same. So it looks like Oxalite does not do anything with the carbon dioxide engine. So it looks like the basic setup for carbon dioxide engines, at least for more than one passenger or having a big interior, is still going to look exactly like this. So as far as I can tell, the functionality of the first two uh, rocket types don't change at all. So this is about what I would build anyway. So it looks like that's still going to be the same case. Alright, let's build some of this other fancy stuff. Let's start building some uh, steam engines and see what that looks like. So... Oh, and again, I have to like awkwardly deconstruct these ladders. This is why I don't like to do this. I wish that... Wait, what? It's blocked? What's happening? That must just be in a bad state. Oh, I can link all these together. Huh, that's interesting. I never knew that. All right. Oh, does it take up the whole thing? Is that why this is happening? Whoa, these are huge. What? Yeah. Okay. 
Look how big this is compared to the other one. This looks like, I guess it's supposed to look like this, but this looks like a bunch of like two liter bottles of soda that are taped together. All right, steam engine. Uh, let's get serious. No more messing around. Uh, let's get one of these. Set this up. I'm gonna make some really hot steam because why not? Sure. Um, nah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I was tempted, but I'm not gonna do it. All right, let's just do this. Let's fill this in with steam. Is this, uh, nope, this is gonna break. Let's build a, let's build a gas pump out of steel. I don't know why it says I have 12,000 tons of steel. I don't even know where that came from. Maybe from deconstructing other stuff. All right, then we'll add some of this stuff. There we go, that should be good enough. Start filling this thing up. I don't know how much it can hold, 150. That's a lot less than it was before, I think. I think in the base game, wasn't it like 900? Huh. This I would probably also expect to not have any benefit of uh, oxalite, but let's let's try it out. Let me build just the silliest, smallest thing possible and see what kind of distance we get once this thing is fully filled up. Uh, I should probably add two here just to make it go faster also. Because two of these can fill up an entire pipe. So see the packets merge, and there you go. All right, hurry up, steam. Let's see how much this is already adding. So it looks like our distance is now at three as we continue to fill this up. This is 150. All right, let's just super speed this and call it good. Go! <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, what kind of distance do we get from steam? Six tiles, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, it's at least better than the carbon dioxide and steam's not hard to produce once you get the more advanced stuff. So this is kind of cool. Uh, let's just do the experiment of seeing if we add any other modules, how far we can possibly go. This can also store a max module uh, limit of six. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, by the way, I just revealed some spaces on the star map here. I don't know if we'll actually be sending anything out or just launching some of these off, but in case, I just have my cheater mode on so I can just explore out as far as I need to, so yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and destroy this. Let's add some big oxalite tanks. I don't think this is going to do anything because it didn't do anything in the base game, and I don't really know anything about like rocket fuel or anything like that in real life, so I don't know what to really expect. How close can we get this? How do I fill this up? I'm just gonna start drawing ladders everywhere because that's apparently what I'm supposed to do. And I couldn't fill it up from like the side earlier before, so I don't even know if this is gonna work. Let's build something up here. Maybe they can fill it up from the top, right? Maybe something like this. There, let's see if they can get that. And then I'll add some oxalite. All right, friends, get up here and help me out. No? Unreachable storage. Okay, even if I wanted to, I can't get it on that way, so let's go ahead and add a module just to make it actually fit, which is so awkward. Uh, build... Oh no, it's building it on top. I want to build this below, so let's destroy this one. There we go. And then add one on top, that is the... And of course there's ladders in the way now. Why do you make me do this? Just make it reachable from the other side, like one space away. All right. Uh, large oxidizer tank. There we go. And then of course we need to add our ladders so they can actually fill this up, which I just don't get. All right, oxalite. Friends? Yes, okay. Let's see if this does anything. I'm not expecting it to. Let's fill it up to the 150 like we were doing before to see if that makes any difference. As far as I've been able to tell, uh, just matching the amount that's in there seems to have the, the best effect. I know there is a view you can look at it, but that view has never really made sense to me. Um, so I don't know. Alright, so the range is still six. Like I expected, I did not see anything different. Let's just fill it up with, I don't know, a mid-level amount and call that good. There's also something really weird with these two. Like, the request that it puts out is for, like, way more than they can handle. And if I just increase it here, it just doesn't ask for more. So that definitely seems like a bug. So I'm just going to delete this and re-add it, I suppose. Alright. 900? Oxalite? 
bring it to me, please. Thank you. Thank you, Meemaw. I don't know why Nails isn't helping this time. But what happens sometimes is they will, like, bring this huge pile of it that doesn't actually do anything. Yeah. And they'll, like, overfill it and then drop the rest on the ground, which seems really silly. So, yeah, definitely some weird stuff going on here. So it looks like, as far as I can tell, um, this seems to be the optimal way to build out the steam rocket. It is going to add one of these guys. One of the spacefarer modules, which of course I have ladders in the way. Ah, I don't like that. Uh, just, just let me build it all from here. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be something like this. It does not change the range. Um, I don't know if you continue to stack stuff on here if it actually changes the range. So I'm just going to be silly and keep adding stuff. Oh, I can't add the same module? Yeah, huh. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's just start adding stuff and see if it changes the range. Sure, whatever. And how about a liquid fuel tank we can't use? Yeah, the range seems to be the same. The only thing that seems to change is the rocket's speed. So that's kind of interesting. That you could still go the same distance, but if you stack a bunch of garbage on here, it looks like it actually makes it just go there slower, but it still can go the same distance, so... That's kind of interesting. Let's add some more stuff. Let's start playing around with these petroleum engines. Which will give us a good reason to go back to using petroleum again if we don't need it for power anymore. So, new rocket. Let's use the small one. And I'm guessing this is going to be one that will take oxalite as well. So I might as well just skip that step and start adding it. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to be able to hold enough. So I'm just going to use the big one. Because you know what? Why not? <laughs> this looks so weird. There's like a huge thing on top of there. Yeah, pretty cool looking, I suppose. Oh, I probably need to add fuel for it too. Wait, is this combined? Yeah, looks like we just pump it straight into the engine as opposed to the tank. So that's interesting. Uh, let's just start spamming ladders, because that's apparently what I have to do. There you go. And we'll add the silly solo fairer... Solo space fairer nose cone. Alright, how much can this hold? 450? Alright. Whoops. 450. There we go. Anybody coming to fill this up, or did I bug it out? Okay, no, it looks like we're good. Alright, then let's start adding some petroleum. I don't think... Maybe I'll go a little bit further over, because I might add some more stuff. Uh, destroy this. Add a pump. Why not steal? Brush in some petroleum, or petrol. As I'm told. All right, get a jet dev generator for us. There we go. And then we're just going to pump it straight in. So here we go. This one, we cannot add one more to help fill this up faster. This is the fastest we can get it. So, uh, super speed, go! <laughs> there we go. That was fast. All right. So it looks like we're filled up. Ooh, range of eight plus the oxidizer. Um, if I delete this, I wonder how much this changes. So let's start by increasing it. Well, let's just delete it, whatever. Uh, oh, that's super slow. Alright, so, yeah, this has to have oxidizer, it looks like. So, zero. Let's see if it actually has any bonus for adding more. So I'm just gonna add a... I also wonder if the extra fuel tanks will help on this smaller one. Um, hmm. Alright, well, whatever. Let's add this back. Let me add a lot more. Let's just add it to the max and see what happens. I'm not expecting anything to change, but let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, we're at nine. Okay, so overfilling it did help, which is interesting. I don't know what the ratios are, and I don't know where I would find that out. So if you know that, please tell me. I have seen on, like, there's some overviews here that are a little bit weird that says, like, how much you can have, but that just tells me how much I'm storing. It doesn't tell me what the efficiency rate is or anything like that. So I don't really know where to go to find that out. Um, there used to be an overlay that would tell you on the actual rockets themselves, but I just, I don't know. I can't find it, so I'm also probably not looking very hard. So yeah, take that for what it is. All right, let's add a uh, fuel tank to see if we can add more fuel to these other ones, because we have 
How much can this hold? 900 plus 450. So that'll be, what, like 1350? It's about half of what's in here right now. So let's see what happens with that. And ready, set, super speed. This one's taking longer to fill up because obviously it's a bigger tank. There we go. All right. How far do we have now? 27 tiles. Whoa. Dang, this is crazy. I wonder if there's even a reason to build a big one now because that's really far. Uh, you could stay out there forever with something like this. Like from here, I, I'm just gonna start counting tiles. I don't know if it actually works this way, but that would seem pretty intuitive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You could go here and back and still have like fuel to spare. Uh, so I guess 12, 13. That's as far as I can possibly get from the center to the outside. Dang, those are really far. Okay. All right, game. I see you. Also means you'd have to put up some pretty crazy uh, stuff to make your duplicates live out there for that long, which I just built in another video. But I have no idea how it's going to perform because I never used it before. And we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, this is cool. All right. Uh, Spacefarer module, sure. Oh, I can't add a nose cone now. Okay, that's going to be one reason to definitely have the bigger engine because it's going to only handle four modules. All right, that makes sense. Still interesting rocket type. Let's delete this. Add back the other one. So I guess this is a kind of practical idea. Not really. Probably better for shorter missions. So I would imagine that a more practical version of this is probably something like uh, what I'm about to do as I press the wrong button almost. Probably something like this is a little bit more reasonable. Um, so if you have this, your range is still 9, which if you go on the star map, I think that that means you could go like roughly to about here and back safely. Uh, so you don't risk getting stranded. So yeah, that seems like a thing. Um, so yeah, decent mid-game rocket it looks like. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's add what I think is going to be the biggest rocket so far. We don't have any crazy ones like in the... Uh, in the base game where we have to like liquefy hydrogen or something like that. So let's build the biggest one, or at least what I think is the biggest one. Petroleum engines, here we go. This is where we're gonna start eating up a lot of our steel, by the way. That was one of the biggest reasons to start getting that stuff so that you could actually start getting your, getting out in space safely, first of all, but secondly, um, getting enough stuff for rockets because rockets were usually really steel intensive. So looks like we're kind of going back to some of that. Also, how does 450? Let's see how much the small one holds, because that would increase your speed, I think, because if you're using the small one module. Let's see if that one's any better. How much does this hold? Only 300, so let's add oxalite to it, because we, I think, have determined that oxalite is better than fertilizer, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens with that. But yeah, the petroleum engine. So this one I expect to not have an intake. Yep, there we go. This one I'm also going to expect to use the big oxidizer tank, and the big fuel tank. And this can also handle seven modules, so you can add all kinds of stuff on here, like the spacefarer module. You can add, I don't know, something really, really pointless. This as far as I can tell. Maybe some cargo bays, I guess. Maybe a gas canister. I don't know what I would be bringing back with this, but sure. And then the nose cone. So it looks like that's about as tall as it's going to get. Let me reveal some stuff out here. Ooh, critter removal. That's cool. Yep. Goes up here pretty high. Um, by the way, let me, uh... Let me get my, uh, title shot here. Yeah, take the mouse off, and yeah, there's, there's our title shot right there. Print screen. Alright. So, what we have here is... A whole bunch of stuff. Let's build some ladders. How am I gonna fill up the fill up the oxidizer tank if they can't even reach it. Whoa, this is huge. I can't even build down here. This is insane. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to fill this up. Unless I use an intentionally smaller module next to it. That's so awkward. Like, am I just gonna put something pointless here? Like that? I don't know. Maybe a small cargo bay? I guess. That's pretty weird. At least as far as I can tell, that's what we have to do every time, so... I don't know. Not sure I'm okay with that. 
I would like to file a complaint and speak to your manager, please. Uh, let me go ahead and turn these off, by the way. Best way to turn them off is to go like this. Ah. Can't be on if you don't exist. Alright, let's start getting some oxalite in here. We add some in here. Did they bring it here already? Yes. Okay, what's our distance on this with the smaller ones? Six tiles. So yeah, I think there is a reason to build the bigger ones if you want to get further out there. Because six tiles, as far as I know, I have not done this before, full disclosure. I think that means you're going to get three out and three back. Um, so still not all the way to the edge of where you can typically explore from one of these planets. So still not that great. I'd probably still build the bigger one. All right, uh, unreachable storage. Why do I need to reach the storage for the tank? Oh, I guess I could just add more tanks. Let's let me add as many as I can. And I still do think I need a smaller thing to fill up this large oxidizer tank. Actually, you know what you could do. This is so lame, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna destroy these ladders, and then I'm gonna destroy this module now that this is already filled up. This holds 2,700, right? All right, deconstruct this. And then, now that it's already filled, let's add a couple more tanks. Yeah! Ultimate rocket right here. We're going to the edge of the universe and back. Grabbing a bunch of chicken nuggets along the way. Alright. Ready to do it again? Super speed go! Oh. That was so anticlimactic. What happened? They're not full. Oh, because I never said it. All right. Okay. I'm going to not ruin it this time. Super speed, go! There we go. That was perfectly timed, by the way. That was not intended. All right, let's see how far we can go with this. This seems to be the ultimate setup. 18? Isn't that worse than this one? If I were to add a fuel tank on there? Although I guess I can't take as much. I can only take like one person at a time. Maybe this is one of those cases where adding fuel actually makes it worse, right? I don't know. All right, let's delete one, see what happens. 12? What? Okay, I mean, I guess the maximum distance is this one with the smaller setup. Why is this so much worse? Does that make sense to anybody? That doesn't make sense to me. Let's compare these things once again, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw that right. Let me add the bigger oxidizer tank to this. Large. And one fuel tank. And the nose cone. And I think if I fill this up, and if I fill up both things, it'll give me more distance than the huge one, which is pretty weird. Let's fill this up. Alright, you guys aren't trapped. You just live in a different part of the map. Deal with it. Oh, they have, like, almost no oxygen. Uh, how about we sample... No, what the... Sample this... Fill... They're gonna have pop deer drums. That's just their life now. There we go. Alright, distance. Uh, we need to actually ask for oxalite first. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So I guess this is maximum distance. This seems to be good distance while still being able to take more than one duplicate. This one can only take one. So that's... Yeah. I, hmm. Very strange. What are... Oh, you're sick. I thought you were hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that one before. Alright, super speed. There we go. I think they have enough now. Alright, so... Yeah, distance here, 27. This seems the maximum distance. If I add the bigger engine and a whole bunch more fuel, it's just worse. Even if I add all three fuel tanks... Which I think is the maximum I can do and still be able to take one of these modules on top. Uh, yeah, it's just... It's objectively worse. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Unless I just didn't add all this, but I'm pretty sure I did. Watch me go back and 
I do this sometimes. I'll go back and watch another video and I'll be like, oh, I'm so dumb. Why did I do that that way? All right. So, reasonable conclusions, I think, are that the Steam Rocket is a very good mid-game option. Probably a lot better mid-game option than this because it doesn't take nearly as much petroleum and it doesn't take oxalite. So, Steam Rockets seem really good. Carbon dioxide also seems pretty good for a starter rocket. Uh, sucrose seems worthless for sure. This one seems really good for mid-game exploration as well. Even with the smaller tank, I think by like pound for pound, it was still performing a lot better than this bigger one. But yeah, it looks like this bigger one is going to be one of your only options for transporting a bunch of duplicates all at the same time, but it won't be able to go as far and back. Um, yeah, and you can't power your spaceships with caramel. I don't know what's up with that. That's definitely a crime against humanity. All right, I think that's everything. Um, there are some other minor bug fixes and stuff like that that I'm not going to cover, uh, only because a lot of those are really not that interesting, like to showcase in a video or something like that. I think you'll just notice it and kind of be glad that they fixed something that you might have seen that was broken, uh, which is good with all the early access stuff. But yeah, I think that's all I got for right now. Um, I will use these in practice in my next DLC video, so I will stay on this public testing branch. And I will always try to stay on that uh, going forward, so any newer content is always available there. We also may get crashes, and we may be uh, playing with stuff that doesn't actually turn out to be that way once it gets released to the more like live branch or whatever they're calling it, uh, the, the typical one. So yeah, that will definitely be a side effect. But yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking this out. I hope we all learned some stuff. This is my first time seeing this as well. Uh, I saw that they made patch notes and literally just started up a video and was like, well, if I'm going to learn, then might as well make a video so everybody else can check it out at the same time. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more videos real soon. Next one, I think, is going to be a big tutorial video that uh, a couple people have been asking me about. So, anticipation. Uh, yeah, check that out. I'll be back real soon. Thanks for watching.